Hi guys and welcome to Lottery Generator developed using PowerPoint slideshow presentation. So I'm going to start by resetting the whole lot and just click on generate new numbers. There, that is how it's done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into PowerPoint development environment and we'll put one of these together. Let's do that now guys. Hi guys and welcome to lottery numbers generator in PowerPoint using the random number generator so I'm going to start by clicking on uh, this blank I'm going to delete the content in here now make sure you have a developer menu here if you don't have your dev developer menu enabled go straight to file select options and this dialog box pops up select customized ribbon and here you should be able to see your developer tab unchecked now get it checked and click on ok and that's it that should appear in here now select the developer menu right there so this controls should pop up it's more or less your two kits that we need so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab hold of this command button. You can see that command button active X control. Click on that and just draw it right there. You can bring it right down a little bit. Okay, we're going to need that command button. I'm going to copy this command button because I need about two of them and paste again. There we go. Now, the other component that I'm going to need now is the text box. You can see text box, active X control. Click on that and just draw it here. We have one text box there. You can uh, copy that as well. I'm going to need about six of those, but before I go any further, I'm going to click on the property. Look at the property there. And I want to change the name of this te very text box to TXT Lotto. That will be txt lotto one very good so that has a name so i'm going to grab txt lotto one copy paste i'm going to need about six of those i have two three okay copy all of them together copy and paste now we have six six lotto just drag it down that's fine now the first one as you can see is txt lotto 1 so the next one here is going to be txt lotto 2 lotto 2 txt lotto 3 txt lotto 4 and txt let's go back in there txt lotto 5 txt lotto 6 there we go now I'm going to do one thing because it seems uh, this seems looks a bit too bright I'm going to right click on the slide itself let's select format background and I'm going to just click here you see where we have color Ch let's change the color to something a little bit darker so that you guys can see okay that looks a bit much better all right so that's fine by me so I'm gonna close that now this very button here select that make sure the properties is deselected if you don't have a property in place that is it right there click on the property and let's give that a name we just call that BTN Lotto Generator okay and the next one is going to be called BTN Lotto. Oh, first of all, let's give this a name. So I'm just going to enter Lotto Generator in there. There we go. And this one is going to be BTN Reset Generator. And the name on it will be reset generator. Let's come in here with the caption. That is it right there. There. 
okay done let's select all of the components we have on board and come right here just hold on to control a to select it all i'm going to come right there you see where we have the font click on the font and now i want to increase the size of the font to something readable i'm going to make it regular let's go back to the to the text yeah that is it so here let's increase the size of that a little bit and what was the width of this? This is about okay, 300 plus. I'm gonna make this one 300 plus as well. I've copied the the width. Okay, that is fine. And up here, I'm just gonna enter random number general lottery generator or something like that. Just put that in here. And there, I will enter lottery number generator okay that's cool um you see where we have world wrap i'm going to get make sure that is true and let's increase the font size to something a bit readable i'll make that bold and let's go for maybe about 48 and let's go back in there and just drag it that much there we go i think Let's go back to the property, get it centered where it's a line, a line and that will be centered. And uh, maybe I'll increase the font size a little bit more. Go back to the font, click on that. Uh, let's make it maybe 70s, whatever, 72. And let's see how that's going to look like. Now, it should be wrapped. Let's select this one and move it down a little bit and click on this drag it that way yeah that's fine so if i click on the slideshow we should be able to see that that is good you see the background of this maybe i'm going to get rid of that background so let's go back in there select the layer and let's come back to the properties and yeah come to the properties let's see background so come right here select that and in here let's see if we can okay let me select this yeah that will do now close this now let's just try it one more time yeah that's not too bad okay now let's generate some random numbers okay to generate the random numbers i will now double click on this my button here and that brings me straight to this coding area so in there i'm going to declare the following variable so let's say din um lotto number or let's say random random lotto as integer there now random number lotto is going to take an integer value as you can see so let's get it initialized with int and then make that two Let's say plus ran, which is a function. Let's multiply that by the random number, and that is 59. Let's multiply the multi uh, minus it by 2 and add 1 to it. There we go. I'll add 1, close that. Okay. Uh, let's close the other brackets here. There we go. Now, I'm going to say txt lotto one dot text that will be equals this very one. Okay, it's equals this. So copy that, paste that in here. There. And that's all there is to it. So let's come in here now. Click on the view PowerPoint and let's click on the slideshow. Click on the button. There we go. Look at that. So that is easy. So let's come in here now. As you can see, the font seems to be a little bit very small. I'm going to go straight to the property. Let's select the property. I'm going to get it centered, align center. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing for all. Just get all of them centered, align center and also now the text let's come in here to the text and let's increase the text content to something a little bit readable make it about 70 something or we can make that 80 yeah 
that will be much more pronounced so that's good now the next thing is we need to then add the same random number for the other but for the other text box so double click on your button I might as well just copy this and just change it around so this is lot one two three four five six there just change the numbers that is lotto txt2 txt lotto 3 txt lotto 4 txt lotto 5 and txt lotto 6 the different is i'm actually using the slideshow so that's why i prefer this method so let's click on slideshow click on this there we go look at that okay now let's do one thing you see this i think the the formats did not work for them so let's right click on there and the slideshow let me change this format as well so i'm going to come back in here i think let's just do it maybe two by two let's come in here and change that to 80 as well 80 and centered there and align that will be centered okay back in here hopefully that is done repeat the same thing for this one align centered and font is going to be 80 centered 80 bold there and let's go back here that's fine all right now the next thing is let's double click on the reset button here with the reset i just need to reset each of these grab that and come down here paste reset number one okay we have number one reset number two three four five and six so change the numbers around that is two three four five and six there so let's run it come in here click on that there reset and there okay as you can see we seems to have duplicate values so to take care of that what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here double click on that and let's just change the data in here I'm going to make that about three let's say four and this one can be like one and here we make that three so the O value is random and we can make that five three just change it around okay save all right to save it I'm just going to enter law to India let's say yeah law to underscore PowerPoint okay random I'm going to save that straight onto my desktop. Save as must be PowerPoint macro enable. Okay, make sure you guys save it as PowerPoint macro enable, else there will be an error. So I'm going to let's put PowerPoint in here. Now I'll click on save. Okay, one other thing that I would like to achieve is you see, when I run this program now, click on the slideshow. I'm able to clear okay and I can now reset okay you can see the number and now unique number but if I close this and reopen and click on show slide we still have the lottery numbers that was that were generated in there so what I want to do is when the form or when the slide show load up I want all these numbers cleared so to do that this is what I'm gonna do and come back in here let's double click on that and go straight to the code view now underneath here I'm going to call the following application function let's say sub on slide show terminate this is one of the PowerPoint 
function is it by value I'm just gonna enter WN for window as slideshow this is slide slideshow window there we go close that press enter so what I want the system to do is I'm gonna copy all of that paste that right in there so when the system runs okay as you can see when the system runs we want this to happen so let's come in here now or we can even create just one single function to take care of all of that and call that in here so what about creating a function instead of writing codes everywhere so I'm going to create a function let's come in a copy all of this again copy and just dump it here now I'm going to change everything in here delete that and just call it a slideshow reset yep that's my function slideshow reset and I will now call slideshow reset in here grab that delete everything here and to call slideshow reset and repeat the same thing for that call slideshow reset you see just reducing my code this is a function right there so that should do the job save that come back in here so now click on slideshow and let's click on reset there we go now go back in there run our program and click on that there we go and that's how you create your own lottery number generator using just the presentation slide so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my second channel this is dj oben's second channel known as paul oben you all have a nice day now and bye for now guys